we're going to have one brave volunteer that wants to try to whack some moles. We're going to play whack-a-mole. It's very simple. Um, one person will be it. They will have their video on and they will be sitting in their chair with their hands touching either on their head or touching their ears. And um, they have to be here. And if somebody pops up where they're not the only face on the video, they have to touch their space bar to unmute and say that person's name to whack them. So the whacker will, have, will be sitting with their hand touching their ears. And when somebody pops up, their video turned on, the whacker has to touch their space bar and say, and say that person's name, unmute and say, Manny. And you can only say one person with one space bar touch. And then you got to go back to this. Marianne, TJ, you know, you're just trying to catch people. You're trying to whack moles and we're all trying to pop up. When you pop up, you have to see your video up, spin all the way around and then turn your video off. And if we get a pop up and on without our name said, write your name in the chat or say, say point in the chat or one. So you count them up and you know how many points you got. Kathy, will you be a whacker for 30 seconds? Just a 30 second whack. Sure. Now let me get this straight. Yeah. Yeah. When I see someone, <laughs> I say their name and I hit the bar. You have to hit the bar to unmute and then say their name and then unmute and come back here. And if you say their name okay. while, they're while their screen so is the up. So the bar will unmute me. Yes, but you have to hold it. You have to hard press it. You have to hold it down. Like that? Yep. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, we'll do a short one. We all have to do the spinning, but wait until you see your own screen up. Thanks, guys. Starting in three, two, oh, the anticipation. One, go. Laura, Manny, Antonio. Scott, Steven, Mariage, Laura, Ernest, Antonio, Ernest, Scott, you need to get me. Time's up. <laughs> awesome. Let's pop back on. <laughs> We're going to play Shakespearean whack-a-mole. Everybody pull up the chat if you can, Kathy. Um, I'm just kidding. I love you. Let's pull up your chat and everybody write one pentameter of Shakespearean text. It can be anything. I know Stephen has played Oberon. So once you have one pentameter of text written, all these in a row, we can see them. For one minute, we are going to do a thing where TJ is it. And he's starting to study right now. He's going to try to match our lines with us for one minute. We're going to have obstacles here, though. So right now, we're going to go in whatever order I see, I'm gonna call it out. Say your line of text. Say it out loud so that TJ can hear you saying it, okay? Ernest. What has the aspiring King of Lancaster sink into the ground? Nice, that was Gloucester. Laura. A witty mother, witless else her son. Nice, Kathy. Sit down, sit down, your honorable lord. Trell. What a damn Epicurean rascal is this? <laughs> this is great. All right, Antonio. 
When my dimensions are as well compact. Okay, Agni. Manny. Thou, nature, art my goddess to thy law. Marianne. Not the world's mass of vanity could make me. Nice. Steve? You amend it then, it lies in you. Very good. Very good. And mine is, to be thus is nothing but to be safely thus. Now, TJ, this is hard. We all need to make sure that we are muted. And we need a challenge that we have to do while TJ is trying to say our line and get that right. It's a really hard challenge. So, Shakespearean whack-a-mole. Um, let's say... I don't know if this is going to work, but I was thinking, like, maybe trace the rim of your screen, like, two or three times. Oh. And then, like, once it's complete, you have to finish it before they say, say the line or something like that. I like it. You have to draw your finger all the way around on your own screen from corner and then meet that same corner twice. And then you can stop video. I love it, Steven. Great. You have to be accurately drawing the lines of your camera screen. And you can't start until you see your own screen up. You go around twice. Boom. And TJ has that long to say your line. And if he does, he whacked you. And if he doesn't, write a point. Are you ready, TJ? Watch his progression from the beginning to end. This is going to be so cool. Ah, stretch your mouth. Ah, ah. Get your mouth around these words. Here we go. Ah. Starting in, uh, you're going to have one minute, TJ. We'll give you one minute, and we're going to be uh, doing these pop-ups. We'll see what you can do in one minute, starting in three, two, one. Shakespearean whack-a-mole, go. Uh, set down, set down, your honorable load. Uh, 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 thou nature art my goddess to thy law. Uh, 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 uh. What a damned Epicurean rascal this is. Uh, uh, thou nature art my goddess to thy law. Mm, uh, 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 uh. Damn it, so many names. <laughs> Uh, do you amend it then? It lies in you. Thou nature art my goddess to thy law. And stop. That was awesome. That was cool. so good. Cool. Oh my gosh. So who got any points? That was really good, TJ. Um, so I know I got a couple. These are great. Okay, point, point. <laughs> you were getting some people, though. And um, what did it feel like? It was, uh, it was working a different kind of skill because I had to reference the text and also the picture on my screen. But it was also a great rehearsal. Um, great rehearsal practice because I found myself like remember, the text was already learned like uh, mariage. I, that was one that I pretty much like picked up right away, mm -hmm. even though I don't know that monologue and I was able to like not even have to look at the, te the chat. So it was, it was cool to, uh, to be able to like, boom, it's in me. Now I just have to say it. It is the kind of game Without that will back. help help us like get our mouth around these words and i bet as we go if somebody else did it they would get better and we would get better and we could even play it multiple days where we each have that shakespearean line the other thing we could do and i plan to do this year is when somebody has their own shakespearean monologue that with those lines you assign different moles lines of that text so that person is whacking moles with their own Shakespearean lines and getting their mouth around those words and saying it a different way and having to say it in this, you know, and they're memorizing it from people. And Kathy, this is your exercise 
I hand it to you, it will totally activate those lines. Can you imagine like your own monologue happen to get what the inspiring blood of Lancaster stick to the ground? You're trying to say that entire thing and suddenly we're electrifying our Shakespearean language. It has to be clear. Yeah. That we, have to, we still have to gauge that you are articulating, that you understand the line, and we're not just saying, we're not going to get out of the question. You know, it can't be that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'd add that, uh, I said this a few days ago, but doing it now even more, like, you have to use the energy that you have and the anxiety and, like, the anxiousness and everything you're feeling in that moment to get those words out. You have to, you know, you're using that. So it's a great, like, in the moment um, yeah. practice tool. And if I had second graders, my kid's about to be a second grader, I would 100% do this where I would only have five moles and one whacker, and each would have one of the five senses. Or I would do continents. Or you could do multiplication tables. You can do anything and get it into your body and not be preparing for a test by rote.